Have you ever watched a humanoid robot take a stroll and wondered why it doesn't just topple over like a tipsy mannequin? <laughs> it's a fair question, isn't it? We humans spend our first year just figuring out how to stand. Yet we expect our metallic companions to amble across a cobbled street without a single wobble. So, how does your future robot partner manage this incredible feat of balance, turning a simple walk into a symphony of high-tech engineering? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Let's first consider the hardware, the robot's very bones and sinews. Think of it not as a machine, but as a world-class ballet dancer. Deep within its chest sits an inertial measurement unit, a sophisticated gizmo acting as its inner ear, constantly whispering which way is up, down, or sideways. This unit, packed with gyroscopes and accelerometers, is the robot's anchor to reality, its unwavering sense of equilibrium. Then, woven into every joint are proprioceptive sensors, the robot's sense of self, telling the central brain exactly where each limb is in space without needing to look. And in the soles of its feet, force sensors feel the ground, detecting every subtle shift in pressure every tiny pebble underfoot. But what good is a body that can feel if it cannot react? This is where the actuators come in, the powerful and whisper-quiet motors that are less like clunky pistons and more like perfectly controlled muscles. They make thousands of micro-adjustments every second, a constant, silent dance against the relentless pull of gravity. This hardware, however, is just a beautiful, lifeless sculpture without the ghost in the machine. The software. If the hardware is the dancer, the software is the breathtaking symphony it moves to. A torrent of data flows from those sensors, a chaotic flood of information that must be instantly translated into a coherent picture. This is the job of the state estimator, a piece of software that creates the robot's internal reality, its understanding of where it is and how it's moving. It uses clever algorithms like the famous Kalman filter to sift through the noise, making incredibly educated guesses to build a stable, reliable sense of self. Yet, knowing where you are is only half the battle. The real magic lies in the algorithmic choreography that decides the next move. Engineers have a wonderfully straightforward term for this, the zero moment point or ZMP. Imagine a point on the ground where all the forces of movement, gravity, momentum, inertia, perfectly cancel each other out. As long as the robot's center of gravity is hovering directly over this magical, shifting spot, it remains upright. The robot's brain is therefore locked in a frantic, continuous calculation, planning every footstep to perfectly align with this ZMP. Recent breakthroughs, like those seen in Agility Robotics Digit, use something called Model Predictive Control, which is even more astonishing. This algorithm allows the robot to think a few seconds into the future, simulating thousands of possible next steps to choose the one that ensures perfect stability, even if someone gives it a sudden shove. But this brings us to a rather human question, doesn't it? A robot can walk with calculated perfection, but can it ever truly amble with you? Will a leisurely stroll ever feel natural? Or will it always be like walking alongside a hyper-efficient, soul-crushingly predictable metronome? Herein lies the argument against our metallic friends. Their perfection is, paradoxically, their biggest flaw, a sterile grace that lacks the warm, clumsy, and utterly human rhythm of life. On the other hand, who is to say that this precision isn't the entire point? That same unwavering balance that feels odd on a Sunday walk could allow a robot to navigate a treacherous earthquake zone to rescue a survivor. It's every step a life-saving calculation. 
The future, it seems, is already inventing itself in labs at MIT and ETH Zurich, where researchers are exploring soft robotics and bio-integrated sensors. What happens when a robot partner learns to balance not by calculating, but by feeling? When its AI learns your unique gait, not by processing data points, but by developing a shared, intuitive rhythm over thousands of walks together. So, as we watch these marvelous machines take their first confident steps into our world, we must ask ourselves a final, crucial question. In teaching them to walk so perfectly beside us, are we merely building better tools, or are we fundamentally redefining the very essence of companionship? And what does our obsession with creating a partner that will never stumble say about our own fear of falling? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.